est was that you learned how to communicate with each other. And that's what I believe women and men have not always known how to do. Now, how did it affect your relationship with Kurt? It Kurt? made it much better. In what way? I lost some of the feelings that the women in the business world have. What you mean is you, you started to get stroppy and bloody-minded with him? A bit. A bit. Not totally, but a bit. And what happened was that all of a sudden, I found out I am special. Some man. Some man. No, she should have her man if she can have him. Listen, I can understand what you got out of it. What did Kurt get out of it? Except a stroppy wife. I was never a stroppy wife. I don't like that expression. <laughs> He found out that he was really a very super being also. That's the nice thing about Est. But about, did about he life. find out he could do without you as well? No, did he found out he ways? needed to have me. Oh. He found that his life could be, work better if he had me along with him. Yeah. To hold his hand and to walk along life together. You were having cosmetic surgery to be a princess, and then you found out you could be a princess through your mind. Well, if you have a combination of the both, it's fabulous. And I mean, there is no power on earth that can take away those two things working together. What do you reckon you spent uh, on your therapy up to date? Oh, I would say around $50,000, give or take. But it's far less than the Rolls Royce that I bought. And it will give me a lot more mileage. You can do it I have a communication level that's totally different than when I was a young girl from Culver City who didn't have much money, who now has three Rolls Royces and beautiful furs and beautiful clothes. But despite the costly and commonplace crutch of analysis, the endless Beverly Hills merry-go-round grinds on. Your sister's been married how many times? My sister will be married on June 2nd five times. The fifth marriage. Fifth time. It's going to be her fifth and best, I just know it. And you've only been married three times, so you've hardly started, really. My mother's expecting five. I am going to start with three. I don't want to fulfill her, her dream, I guess. You're holding, a, you're holding a three. Right? Yes, but your husband is special. He has his harem. All of, yes. all of Terry's all girlfriends, girlfriends all are... My right. Really? He's yeah, special. So. <laughs> right. Are you in love with him? No, She's I really him like him yeah. a lot. <laughs> I'm so happy with my own, it doesn't make any difference. I don't have eyes for anyone else, Alan. She keeps telling me this rubbish, and she expects <laughs> me to believe it. <laughs> I'm telling the she truth. expects me to believe it. I, I do, I do mean it. Lizzie, he makes my world wonderful. The marriage round here is quite extraordinary, though, isn't it? I mean, uh, I keep meeting people who've been married five and six times. Now, I don't think I've met people who've been married that number of times in my life. I know, you're right. But it's because it's such an easy life here. I would have thought for a woman this is a bad time to be growing old in, really, because in America, age is the worst thing that can happen to anyone. Yes, but see, we and always I, have. We always, always have my husband. How can you say this is a great story for us? We don't have to. I told yeah. you, he gets tired of us. He just changes us. We never grow old. I'm going to uh, break this nice lady's nose with an electric saw. She's a uh, 21 year old lady whose nose goes to the right so we're going to straighten her nose out and make her look a little bit nicer aesthetically it's a regular nose job It'd be nice if it worked <laughs> it really sounds a lot worse than it is there are many ways of doing it some people take a hammer and chisel and like the shoemaker go tap 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 and I sort of think I'm a construction worker this is a much more humane way than punching somebody in the nose it's quite a hard thing to watch for someone who doesn't share your enthusiasm, enthusiasm. I agree uh, and I'm surprised you haven't fallen over on me yet your patients must be tremendously dependent upon you, I would have thought. Is there not a, a very close attachment built up? It's called transference, yes. Um, some, uh, depending on how emotionally involved they are with their operation, some are more dependent than others. If women are supposed to fall in love with their uh, psychiatrist, do they also fall in love with their plastic surgeon? And probably their gynecologist as well. Um, sounds like a rather full love life to me. Well, it sounds like a full life. I just think it's a bit... Ah, uh, do you see that? Uh, a 
Right. That is the car that someday I want. I have to make enough money to buy it, though. Kurt once said he would buy me one, but... A Ferrari? Yes. I think they're the most special-looking car. Can you just feel those lines? Ooh, I can just see myself driving down the but street. But you couldn't get in that if you had the extra large, could you? <laughs> No. Yes, you could. Yes, you could. <laughs> You'd already been married once when you married Cassie, so what were you looking for the second time around? Was it a, a mother for your children or a, a malleable blonde doll or, or someone to share your ambitions? Yes, uh, yes, yes. Probably a combination of, of the three. I have the distinct impression that at that time, the prime reason for me remarrying relatively rapidly was that I didn't want to be alone. She was a very good-looking woman, great possibilities. She loved the children, and the children loved her, and she was really crazy about me. And I liked her a great deal. So you married a girl who, who really treated you like a master and a teacher and an oracle who wanted to be molded and shown. What, what have you got now, after 13 years? Well, now I have a lady who uh, has gone through some uh, molding of her own, who eventually had to come to grips with the fact that she had to discover who she was or wasn't. I think Kathy is going through a transition period in her life where, after all, she's not 25 anymore. And, uh, I would say that there are a lot of women who go through this stage if they've gotten to where they've gotten because they're very good looking. When they start to see the twilight of their sexual attractiveness as far as they're concerned, perhaps not as far as I'm concerned, on the contrary, they start to doubt the future. Really, uh, I've done something with Kathy that I think is truly difficult to do. And that is, I took a woman who was very pretty and I made her beautiful. I mean, it suggests that the improving knife was not enough. No, it isn't enough. It can't be enough. Now you're so laid back, can you be unfaithful to Kathy? And would you worry if she was unfaithful to you? I'm sure I could do practically anything that I wanted to do.